today guys, well I'm hoping it isn't, but it could indeed be bad news according to a few sources I am seeing on the latest news surrounding Cyberpunk 2077. Could this game be delayed once more? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So Cyberpunk has been delayed a few times now, which is fair enough, the game isn't ready, then delayed. We won't argue with you because although we want to get our mitts on the game, I'd rather an actual finished project over playing it before it's ready. Now the further delay I am seeing many many people calling for is due to the latest news at a CD Projekt Red. An article not long released by Jason Schreier suggests well, CD Projekt Red or the 6 day weeks ahead of the game's debut. Now if you guys do not know who Jason Schreier is, he is without doubt in the minds of many one of the best sources for legitimate gaming news out there. Put it this way, if he covers it, it's legit. Now I will link his post down below if you want to read it, but I will go over what he said. Polish video developer CD Projekt Red told employees on Monday that 6 day work weeks will be mandatory leading up to the November release of the highly anticipated Cyberpunk 2077, reneging on an earlier promise to not force overtime on the project. Red, a subsidiary of Poland's biggest gaming company CD Projekt SA, has been criticised previously for engaging in crunch, an industry term for excessive overtime in game development. The practice often lasts for weeks and can stretch out for months or even years. CD Projekt Red co-chief executive officer Mark Nowinski last year told gaming website Kotaku that the company would be avoiding mandatory crunch and was committed to allowing employees to work without overtime. But on an account from a CD Projekt Red employee recently as well as an email to staff earlier this week indicate that the company hasn't lived up to its word. The employee, who asked not to be named discussing private information, said some staff had already been putting in nights and weekends for more than a year. In the email, CD Projekt Red studio head Adam Wadowski wrote that he was optimistic about the state of Cyberpunk 2077, which stars Keanu Reeves, and that they had just sent the game to be certified for release on Sony Corp's PlayStation and Microsoft Corp's Xbox. He wrote, it was time to fix the game's many lingering bugs and glitches. Starting today, the entire development studio is in overdrive. Badowski wrote, elaborating that this meant your typical amount of work and one day of the weekend. The extra work would be paid, as required by Polish labour laws. Many other video game studios don't pay for overtime. I take it upon myself to receive full backlash for the decision. He wrote, I know this is in direct opposition to what we've said about crunch, it's also in direct opposition to what I personally grew to believe a while back, that crunch should never be the answer. But we've extended all of the possible means of navigating the situation. CD Project Red didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Last year, Winsky and Badowski told Kotaku that they were looking to make CD Projekt Red a more humane place to work. We are known for treating gamers with respect, Iwinski said. I actually would like for us to also be known for treating developers with respect. And that was the statement put out by Jason Schreier, like I said, link down below. And well, it's because of this I've seen many, many big guys within the gaming industry, and while well, many, many giant content creators calling, it unfair to workers and well they should delay the game even further and not put stress on said workers. Now I ask you to give me your opinion on this down below but here is mine. I want cyberpunk ASAP but what I don't want is it to be at the cost of putting devs through more than they need to go through. I'm personally fine with the game being delayed if it means developers ain't been so to speak crunched into working crazy amount of hours to get this game ready, especially in the times at hand. I mean, I don't know the actual straight facts here of how devs are feeling about this. Maybe some want to work tirelessly to get their project out. I also do realise working extra hours, which are paid by the way, is in and out part of almost every job. It's life at the end of the day. But I don't think it's worth your health over it. So if developers are honestly feeling worn out because of a set amount of hours they have to put in or are putting in, and like the article says, some people are already working overtime. I mean I'm happy for a delay, and for sure, I know people watching this won't agree with me and want the game right now, but people, with time comes perfection, and that's what I want, I'm happy to wait for it for sure. 
Now I'd expect over the next few days to hear CD Project Red's reply to such and I guess we will take it from there. And while people I will update you accordingly. So tell me what you think about this down below in that comments section. And yes I know you're probably watching this with me not being your number one source for cyberpunk but I've just gotten to posting almost daily videos covering all the basics and the news so hopefully if you're new around here and enjoyed the video would consider subbing for cyberpunk. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.